Has it narrowed? Yes. Is it still possible? Yes. Uh, I, I think um, I, we've always said it was going to be difficult, but I think to the extent rates have to go higher and stay higher for longer, it becomes harder to uh, to see the path. It's it's narrowed. I would say the path has narrowed over the course of the last year, really. Um, hard to say. Hard to say. You know, again, I'll, I would say that the, the sort of array, array of data in the labor market is, is highly unusual, and to many economists, um, there is a path to uh, – ordinarily, there's a relationship to GDP going down and, um, and vacancies uh, declining, translating into unemployment, or there's Oaken's Law. So all those things are relationships that are in the data, and they're very real. It is a little bit different this time, though, because you have this tremendously high level of vacancies, and we think on a, on a very steep part of the beverage curve. All I would say is that that the the, the, lo the job losses may turn out to be less than would be indicated by those traditional measures because uh, because job openings are so elevated and because the labor market is so strong. Um, you know, again, that's going to be something we discover empirically. I, I think. No one knows whether there's going to be a recession or not, and uh, if so, how, how bad that recession would be. And, um, you know, our job is to re restore price stability so that we can have a strong labor market that benefits all over time, and that's what we're going to do.